My name is Drago Grbovic. I'm a, an applied physicist specializing in MEMS, which stands for Microelectromechanical Systems. So the latest research uh, involves uh, terahertz absorbing metamaterials and as of really late, uh, also venturing in the microwave absorbing metamaterials. And this pressure wave hits the sensor. So this project is an extension of a, of a project by Professor Karuna Siri here at the physics department who has achieved uh, impressive terahertz uh, imaging using uh, off-the-shelf infrared camera fitted with a terahertz lens. Since uh, he was able to achieve such, a, such good results with a camera that is not optimized for terahertz, imagine what we could achieve if we had sensors that are optimized for terahertz. So the, the laboratory that is, that is necessary for any, any university that, that uh, wants to deal with microfabrication and, and uh, MEMS, uh, it has to be a clean room facility. This room is a class 10,000, meaning that there is 10,000 uh, or fewer particles per cubic foot of air uh, that, are, that are larger than 5 microns. Uh, the one that we have called the uh, Microsystems Fabrication Laboratory contains uh, several different uh, types of instruments both to deposit and create thin films and layers of thin, different thin films uh, to micro-machine them into, into certain shapes of the detectors or sensors that we want for many various applications we are dealing with with those uh, imaging arrays, we are, we are also trying to, to build MEMS energy harvesting arrays or we can grow carbon nanotubes for ion propulsion. MEMS uh, is a rapidly growing field and there is a, a huge application for, for defense and for security which is the uh, big interest of, of most of our projects for, for energy independence and uh, etc. So, so MEMS can offer answers to many, many different questions and many, many different problems. It's obviously very, very nice that we, we have the opportunity to work with uh, as many uh, students who are mostly uh, naval officers. I guess it's a kind of a win-win situation where we get, we get uh, a lot of help from them, uh, motivated group of talented people, but also they gain a, a lot of experience by being exposed to such a cutting-edge research. I'm uh, happy to be working with such, such a great group of people and uh, being basically on the cutting edge of, uh, of research in this field.